This video is supposed to be video six. It's about willpower and controlled opposition. As we see males failing to rise to the occasion, we have to ask ourselves, how much willpower should we expect women to have? And I expect them to stand firm because all of the logic points to figuring out what is morally precise, which is rallying to me and taking a stand, we'll get to that, and standing firm. So first of all, let's talk about controlled opposition. Feminism has become women being terrorized by corporate scum and limited in their speech and actions to eugenic neo-colonial garbage rules, unspoken rules that are garbage. That's what it's become. Okay. So let's, let's run a scenario here. Let's say a chick named Brenda. She joins a corporation, okay, and she is career oriented. She cares about her career. She puts her career first before everything, even before family, but she won't admit it. She uses her feminist card to climb the ranks, become a CEO or a CFO, chief financial officer, what have you. She gets up there somewhere. And there's guys who design the system and they're, they're, they're social offspring, if you will. The people who are the ones who came after them. Okay. They set up social clubs and corporate groups so they could rule over feminists like her and coerce them. Get them to do their bidding. They present them like powerful women to the public and they get them to join their clubs and confuse people about how much power they actually have. They get dirt on their heads and because these people are career oriented, okay, they end up sleeping with them. And they say things like, take that dick. You fucking bitch. While the handsome guys who should have been the ones she, she dated, okay, are all gone, but me, because of this process that that's output is creating scum who will do anything to coerce females like that or to take advantage of other females here and abroad by using their economic, social, and political positions to get over on them. So while they claim that feminism is about the social, political, and equality, excuse me, social, political, and economic equality of women, what ends up happening is they become girls who just want to have fun and play a stupid fucking psychology game and get taken advantage of by white supremacists, Jewish supremacists, and LGBT people, and the, occasion, to, the occasional token minority LGBT person. That's how this is playing out. That is the current state of feminism. That is the recent past state of feminism, and that is the future, that is the trajectory of feminism. Feminism is a term, regardless of what it was before, that has morphed into corporate sex cult feminism, ruled behind the scenes by males. It's pretty much that simple. Who are the richest people in the world, for example? Almost all of them are males. There's more females in higher education. So if it's a corporate tug of war and there's a bunch of social clubs and gentlemen's clubs and men only clubs, what then happens? The Eastern Star, for example, I don't approve of what they're doing, but they're not that powerful. And a lot of them are gay males and they have gay male overlapping membership in other social clubs to make sure that men, that the, these wicked men, or really males, little boys that never grew up, pull the strings behind the scenes to manipulate females and while they take the attractive women from me like a primate, 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 pry, to take away, to pry, to come between primates. They then say, I'm the subhuman, while geek ass pieces of shit with no heart and not the basic masculinity to have the basic decency not to be a part of that. And instead, rally to me and use their money to combat that even if they go broke within a year. Because a shorter life of virtue is preferred to a long, foolish life of stupidity. Some of them, a uh, uh, picture I'll put on the screen if I remember, this guy, he's, he's showing off his old body, he has a little pink bow tie, talking about, you know, it's a corporate philosophy, you know, talking about sexual power, sexual energy, ways to enhance your sex life. So you literally have people who are aligned to pedophiles, one in five of them are said to be psychopaths, they're narcissists, etc., who are telling you with their little butt buddies, whether this guy fits the description or not, to be diplomatic, how to have better sex. People that coerce women, one in four little girls are sexually uh, molested because of their culture and their, their governing control. Uh, one in nine little boys are abused. 
And I'll put it in another way in the next video. Because I know at times you're like, what, what is eugenics? Eugenics is like the self-correction, excuse me, self, uh, self-direction of humanity by controlling sexual behavior. And they used to sterilize people and all kinds of things. And it's basically like white supremacy on steroids trying to use science to force uh, you know, people to have sex with the types of people they want them to and to not have sex with the types of people they don't want them to. Think about a more, think about the clan on steroids. Stay the fuck away from the white girls. Except for it's stay the fuck away from any type of attractive female that they don't want you to date, especially richer ones, healthier ones, etc. It's sabotaging your genes and your offspring by controlling reproduction and making it so only the lowest forms of life reproduce with the most attractive and healthy and intelligent females. Pretty straightforward. In the next video, I'm going to make a little um, kind of rhyme that's simple. I'm going to go over it again and again so you see that I must be right. Thank you.